of them is discontinued if I'm not mistaken and the other one I was think is discontinued but it's not hopefully the prices went up ridiculously madly and crazily and I'm hesitating to even if I had a, the third bottle of the Prad alone I'm still hesitating to invest my money into the, another bottle because it's daily fragrance very pleasant very soft very unique definitely in designer perfumery and designer designer market on today's designer market definitely one of the best things and if you if you don't have loan my advice is not to focus on the so much on the today's top 10 YouTube reviewers because they're still talking about the same things and uh, when you're a real collector and you have over the 80 perfumes they still talk about the same things like Mont Blanc, Explorer or the, the few Prada Luna Rosas or the Armas and all this goes on and it's not interesting at all anything what they what they talk about so there are only the couple of the few f uh, interesting fragrances uh, in today's design of perfumery and the, it's sad that during the corona times lots of them became discontinued probably because the people didn't focus on the buying the perfumes but one of them is Prada Amber Porom this is my third bottle and I've had the uh, Prada Amber Porom Intense, the, the black in the the black one, but it was too much to me, too much benzoin, too much patchouli, but but this is very well balanced and very well made and really creative into the perfection because it's it has that soapy laundry white and I love that clean Italian Milano type of office cleanliness. I, I really like it. 